So the question says of simple interest that a sum of money amounts to rupees 850 in three years and to rupees 925 in four years. At the same rate of simple interest, the sum is. So whenever we want to calculate simple interest, there is a simple formula of simple interest. Simple interest is nothing but principal. That is what is invested multiplied by rate that is in percentage per annum multiplied by the time, time for which the money is invested divided by 100. So this is the very simple formula of simple interest that we always use. Okay, so what all has been given in this question to us? He says the sum of money amounts to rupees 850. Now, what is amount? Amount is nothing but the principal value plus the interest that you gain. The sum of both of them is actually the amount. So amount is equal to principal plus simple interest. So these are the two formula in the scene for the questions of simple interest always. Now, what he says, a sum of money amounts to 850. That means the amount value is already given as 850. And the in three years, so the time value is given as three years. This has happened in three years. Okay, what else? And to rupees 925 in four years. So if we say amount for three years, so let me say, let me say A3 is 850. So now, the next thing that he has given in four years, that is A4, the amount has become 925 years 925 rupees and this has happened in time is equal to four years so that these are the two things that has been given now he asking for at the same rate of simple interest the sum is so he's asking for sum is nothing but the principal amount what was actually invested so if you can see here that amount in three years is becoming 850 and then in four years it is becoming 925 where there is a gap of one year after three years to the four year there's a gap of one year so the growth in one year is how much? Growth in one year is how much? 925 minus 850. That is the growth in one year with the principal. So how much is this growth? If we subtract this together, this is coming out to be rupees 75. So in that one year, the amount, the principal has grown by 75 rupees. So 75 rupees is nothing but the simple interest. Okay. So whatever you whatever you add to your principal is actually your simple interest. So the growth is simple interest. So 75 rupees is the simple interest. Now, simple interest for one year. Okay. One year simple interest is calculated at to be 75 rupees. So simple interest for three years will be how much? See, this is what is simple about simple interest that it is directly proportional to time. Okay, so if one year simple interest is 75, then three years simple interest will be simply 75 into 3. That is how much? That is nothing but rupees 225. So we can easily understand that simple interest for three years is rupees 225. Now, if you see the question again, the sum of money amounts to 850 in three years. So three years amount was 850 and three years simple interest is Simple interest for three years is how much? 225. So if we go to our this particular formula where amount is equal to principal plus simple interest and if we use this formula, then amount in three years is 850. So 850 is equal to simple interest. Principal is unknown. So P plus three years simple interest is 225. So if you go by this formula, you can calculate the principal value and the principal value comes out to be 850 minus 225. That is nothing but 625. So the principal or the sum that he was asking for is nothing but 625, which is available in option number C and is the right answer. Now he says the rate of interest per annum at which the total simple interest of a certain capital for one year is equal to the total simple interest of the same capital at the rate of 5% per annum for two years is how much? Okay. So what he has said, the rate of interest that is being asked for of a certain capital so for certain capital it is written so let us assume some capital value or the principal at the principal is we can assume principal at as any value because the exact amount is not given so let me assume principal as 1000 rupees because the calculation can be easy if the numbers such as 100 1000 10000 are chosen the calculation can be rather easy so let me say my principal value is 1000 rupees okay what what he has said in the last phase that Certain capital for one year is equal to the total simple interest of the same capital at the rate of 5%. So let me say the rate value is how much? 5% per annum for two years. So the time value is two years. So this is what is the second line says that simple interest is to be earned when the principal value is unknown. So let, have, let me assume principal is 1000 with a rate of 5% and in the time two years. 
So if you want to calculate the simple interest, let me use the simple formula. Simple interest is P into R into T upon 100. If I put the values inside, that the simple interest is coming out to be principal value is 1000 into rate he has given as 5 into time he has given as 2 divided by 100. Okay, if we cut this, we're going to get the principal, we're going to get the simple interest value that is nothing but 100 rupees. Okay, so if the principal would have been 1000 rupees, then the same scheme would have given the simple interest value as 100 rupees. Now, what he has said in the initial phase, the rate of interest per annum at which the total, so we have to suppose to calculate the rate of interest. Okay, he is asking for the rate of interest at which the total simple interest of a certain capital for one year. So the time value now should be taken as one year is equal to now the simple interest he is saying simple interest in the first scheme should be equal to simple interest in the second scheme so the simple interest can also be put as the simple interest of the older the newer scheme that we had so simple interest is 100 rupees so we have to calculate the simple interest as equal to 100 rupees and the principal value we have to use the same because he has said certain capital for one year total simple interest of the same capital he has said the same capital so the principal has to be same so now we have to calculate the rate value when the time value is one year, simple interest is 100 and principal is 1000. So we can use the same formula once again, SI is equal to P into R into T upon 100. So we let me put the value, SI is already calculated to be 100, principal value I had assumed to be 1000. Rate I have to find out, time value is given as 1 divided by 100. If I solve this equation, okay, then we can cut down some things like that. So the rate value is coming out to be 100 by 10 that is nothing but 10 percent okay so that is the right answer option available is b rate value is 10 percent is the right answer now amount doubles itself at the end of eight years okay the amount is getting doubled with a certain rate of interest so rate of interest is unknown what will be the total simple interest on 8000 at the rate of end of at the rate 8000 at the rate at the end of four years so we have to use the same rate at the same rate so he says amount is getting doubled so with the so first of all we'll have to find out that particular rate at which the amount is getting doubled and that particular rate we're going to use in the other part of the question where he has said what will the total simple interest on 8000 at the same rate at that rate only jo hum, that which we will calculate in the first part at the end of four years so, first of all, we'll calculate the rate from the very first part where he says amount doubles itself. So, let me say the principal is X and they say it will be doubled. Amount will be doubled. So, amount is equal to doubled that is 2X. So, how much will be the simple interest? Simple interest is nothing but amount minus principal. So, it will be 2X minus X is equal to X. So, the simple interest is X. The principal is also X and the time is 8 years. He has said this, this, this doubling is happening in 8 years. So the time value is 8 years. As they say, the time value is 8 years. So using this, these set of values, that is principal X, rate unknown, simple interest X and time 8, we're going to calculate the uh, rate first. So we can use the simple formula. Simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. I have all the values with me. Simple interest is X, principal value is X, rate value is unknown. Time value is 8 years divided by 100. So X gets cut on both the sides. So here from R value comes out to be 100 by 8. That is nothing but 12.5%. So this is that rate they are talking about that the same rate has to be used in the other part of the question. So now that rate has come. That is 12.5%. Now I'm going to use this rate for the other part, for solving the other part of the question where he has said the Simple interest to be calculated. Now there is a simple interest to be calculated. So simple interest is unknown. Principal value is on rupees 8000. So principal value is 8000 rupees. Rate value is the same rate that was used in the first part. So it has come out to be 12.5% for us. And time value he has given as 4 years. So these are the set of value that I have. I'm going to use them to find out the simple interest. I'm going to use the same formula again. SI is equal to P into R into T upon 100. Let me put the values inside. P is 8000. Rate value is 12.5. Time value is 4 divided by 100. I need to solve this. 12.5 cuts 100 by 8 completely. 8 cut 8000 8, by 1000 completely. So it comes out to be rupees 4000. Okay. So that is where the, is the total simple interest they were asking for in the question. 
and that is available in the option number B and is the right answer. Okay, now see the next one. A sum of rupees 675 amounts to 837, 837 in 4 years at simple interest. Okay, amount is always principal plus simple interest. Okay, amount value is 837. Okay, principal value is yet to be calculated. 675 uh, was the principal value. As they say, 675 amounts to this plus simple interest is unknown. So, we can calculate the simple interest by subtracting the amount and principal. So, it is going to be 837 minus 675. So, the simple interest that is being earned is uh, 837 minus 675, that is 162. And this simple interest has been earned in how many years? 4 years. So, we can relate this as SI of 4 years is 162 rupees. Okay, let's go to the another part of the question. If the interest rate is decreased by 2%, okay interest rate whatever interest rate is, is available here that is to be decreased by two percent then the amount will be so first of all we need to calculate the original rate of interest okay for that we're going to use the simple formula of simple interest is p into r into t upon 100 that is a basic formula let me put all the values si is already calculated to be 162 principal is given as 675 into rate value is to be calculated into time value is four four years divided by 100 so, if we solve this particular equation, we're going to get IR value as 6%. Okay, IR value is coming as 6%. Now, in the second part of the question, he says, if the interest rate is decreased by 2%, so this interest rate is getting decreased by 2%, so the new interest rate is how much? 6 minus 2, that is 4%. So, this is the new rate of interest that is to be used for the other part of the question, um, in which he says, then, the, then if the rate interest is decreased by 2%, then what will be the new amount? So, for calculating the new amount, I need to calculate the new simple interest first. Okay, I'm going to use the same formula. Simple interest is P into R into T upon 100. I'm going to use the same. So, if I use this, principal value is still the same, 675 into rate value. The new rate value is 4% into time value is still remains 4 divided by 100. If I solve this equation, the SI value comes out to be 108. He had asked for, then the amount will be. Amount is always principal plus simple interest okay if you use this so the principal was still 675 simple interest is the new simple interest that is 108 if i add them both i'm getting the 783 as the new amount rupees 783 which is available in option number d becomes the right answer okay mr jha invest an amount of rupees 18000 to obtain a simple interest at the rate of 15 percent per annum for six years what total amount will Mr. Chha get, Chha get at the end of 6 years? So, everything is given. Principal is given out to be 18,000. Okay, the rate value is given out to be 15% per annum. Time value is given out to be 6 years. We are just supposed to calculate the total amount. For calculating the amount, I need to first calculate the simple interest. That is, can be calculated using the simple formula P into R into T upon 100. So, that is to be calculated. Principal value is 18,000. Rate value is 15%. Time value is 6. Divided by 100. If I solve this equation further, okay, I'm going to get the simple interest value as rupees 16,200. That is the simple interest I'm getting. He had asked for the amount. So, amount is always principal plus simple interest. If I add them both, it is going to be 18,000 plus the interest value that is 16,000. 200 and it comes out to be as the sum as 34,200. So that is the actual amount Mr. Cha gonna get after six years of the scheme. So it is available in option number C becomes the right answer for us. Now, question number six the simple interest on a certain sum of money is 25 by 64 of the sum. Okay, so the simple interest he said is 25 by 64 times of the principal. Okay, that is what is the equation. And the number of years equals the rate percent per annum. He said the time, number of years is time is equal to the rate percent. So, T is equal to R percent. Okay, so T and R value can be kept as equal. Then he has asked for the rate percent per annum. So, I have a simple formula for simple interest. That is P into R into T upon 100. Okay, so in place of simple interest, I can write as, in place of SI, I can write as 25 by 64 of P. So, if I do that, in place of SI, I am putting up 25 by 64P is equal to P as it is, R as it is, into, he has said, rate value is equal to time. So, the time value is also equal to rate. 
So in place of T, I will just put again R divided by 100. So this is the thing that has been done. That is the change is required. Now, if we solve this equation, P gets cancelled on both the sides. This R into R becomes R square. So we can write R square by 100 is equal to 25 by 64. If I solve this further, this comes out to be R value comes out to be 25 by 4. Okay. R value comes out to be uh, 25 by 4. That is nothing but 6, 1 by 4 percent. R value comes out to be 25 by 4. That is nothing but 6, 1 by 4 percent, which is available in option number. D and becomes the right answer. Okay. Then he says the rate of interest if is 2 pesa per rupee per month. So 2 pesa is applicable for 1 rupee for 1 month only. If the interest on rupees 200 is in one year will be what? Okay. So for 200 rupees, how much will be the interest for one year? That's what is being asked. So the rate becomes 2 pesa for 1 rupee. And this is for one month. So we need to solve this equation further. 2 pesa for 1 rupee for one month. Okay. That means if we want to calculate this 2 pesa for 1 rupees for 12 months, so we'll have to multiply this by 12. 2 pesa for for, per rupee if you want to calculate for 12 months because he has asked for one year so i'll have to multiply this rate for one month it is two pesa so for 12 months it is how much the, for to, to know that i need to multiply this number by 12 which becomes 12 into 2 24 pesa okay per rupee 24 pesa per rupee now 24 pesa is applicable for one rupee how many how many rupees we have we have 200 rupees so if 24 pesa for one rupee then for how much for 200 rupees so it's obviously 24 pesa into 200 okay that is nothing but 4800 pesa so this is the actual interest 4800 pesas okay if you want to convert this into rupees then one rupees has got 100 pesa as we know already so 4800 pesa will will have how many rupees we'll have to divide it by 100 so how many uh, rupees will be the interest interest will be 4800 pesa divided by 100 that is going to be 48 rupees so that is the actual interest earned okay with the scheme as said so the answer is rupees 48 available in option number c next a person invests rupees 12000 as fixed deposit at the bank at the rate of 10 pesa per annum, simple interest, but due to some processing, pressing needs, he has to withdraw the entire money after three years. Okay. So, first set of value is principal is 12,000 rupees. Okay. And 10%. So, the rate value is 10%. Okay. But due to some pressing, he had deposited this for some pressing, he had to withdraw the entire money after three years. If he gets 3,000, 3,000 less than what he would have got at the end of five years. So the total time should have been five years. So first of all, we'll calculate if he had not withdrawn his money, how much interest he would have earned. We'll calculate this part first. For that, the time value should be taken the entire time, that is five years. So, okay, so we'll need to calculate the simple interest for this scheme first. Simple interest is principal, that is 2000 into rate, that is 10 into time, that is five by 100. Okay, if we solve this equation further, the simple interest comes out to be 6,000 rupees. Okay, simple interest is coming out to be 6,000 rupees. Okay, so this is the simple interest he should have earned he, if he had not withdrawn. But as they say, but due to some pressing needs, he has to withdraw the entire money after just three years for which bank allowed him a lower rate of interest if he gets rupees 3,320 less. So how much less he has got? 3,320 less. So what is the interest that he has got? So the interest at three years when he withdraws should be 3,320 lesser than he should have got. So he should have got 6,000 minus 3,320. How much is this value? This is 2,680. So how much he had got? He has got because of withdrawing, he has got just 2,680 rupees. This is what his, is his simple interest for three years. Now, the simple interest for three years is 2680. Principal value is still the same. That is 12,000. Time value is obviously three years. So, I'm going to have to calculate the rate of interest for this scheme. For that, I'm going to use again the formula. Simple interest is 2680. Principal is 12,000. Rate value is unknown into time value is 3 divided by 100. I need to solve this equation to get the rate value. 
okay if i cut the numbers like that i'm finally getting the rate value as seven four by nine percent okay i'm getting the rate value as seven four by nine percent which is available in option number b and becomes the right answer now a sum of rupees 44,000 is divided into three parts such that the corresponding interest earned after two years, three years and six years are equal. Okay. If the rates of simple interest are 6%, 8% and 6% respectively, then what is the smaller part of the sum that was let out? What he, the, they are saying is that rupees 44,000 has been divided between three parts. Let's say the parts are X, Y and Z. So 44,000 was divided between these parts. And with these parts, for first part, the time was two years and the interest rate was 6%. Second part, the time was three years and interest rate was 8%. And for the third part, time value was six years and the uh, rate value was 6%. He said whatever interest has been earned in three part that is equal. Simple interest equal to simple interest equal to simple interest. Okay. That is what is the question saying. Now, we are using these set of values, we are supposed to calculate what is the smallest part out of the 44,000. That is the question. So, let us begin with something. When we have assumed that the parts are X, Y, and Z, so what we can do, the parts are X, Y, and Z. So, what we can do, the first equation can be formed as X plus X. The first part is X. So, it is X plus Y plus Z is equal to 44,000 because all three are the part of 44,000 only. So, their sum will be obviously 44,000. Let me frame this as first equation. Now, look at the interest in the first scheme. The principal value is X. As you can see here, the principal value is X. Okay. For the first case, the principal value is X. Okay. And the rate percent is given out to be two year. So the question is a sum of rupees 44,000 is divided into three parts such that corresponding interest earned after two years, three and six years are equal. So let us do the first thing. There are 44,000 total money and that has been divided into three parts. So let us assume the parts name that the first part is X, second part of 44,000 is Y and let's say the third part is Z. And to each part there has been different different time and rate of interest given. So the for the X for the first part, the time is two years. For the Y part, it is three years. And for the Z part, it is six years. Similarly, the rate percent uh, for applying the simple interest is also different, different. So let's have the first rate of interest. That is 6% for X and 8% for Y and again 6% for Z. So these are the three uh, different schemes in which the total money of 44,000 has been distributed. So, first and foremost thing that we can do is we can make an equation like x plus y plus z is equal to 44,000 because 44,000 has been distributed into three parts. So, obviously, the sum of all three parts should be equal to 44,000. Another thing that we can do, let us name it as first equation. Another thing that we can do is then he says that for the first particular uh, part, he says the rate of interest is 6% and the time is 2 years. So, the interest on the first part should be the simple interest formula is again applicable. Simple interest is going to be principal into rate into time over 100. So, for the first very first part, so the simple interest is going to be applied on X because X is the principal for the first part. Time value is 2 and the rate of interest is 6%. So, what is the simple interest value for the first part? Simple interest value for the first part is nothing but x into time value is 6, rate value is 6, time value is 2 divided by 100. So, this is the uh, simple interest of the first part. Then, similarly, simple interest of the second part is, the second part has got y as the principal, time value is 3, rate value is 8 divided by 100. Simply, the simple interest on the third part, principal value is z, time value is 6 and, and the rate value is also 6 divided by 100. So, these are the three simple interest 1, 2 and 3 of different x, y, z. Then he says the simple interests earned after two this are equal. So, all these simple interests are equal. So, we need to understand that all these three equations are equal in itself. Okay. So, we need to solve this equation one by one. So, if we take down these two first, 
if we take down the first two together, then we can uh, simplify some things. Obviously, 100 and 100 gets cancelled with each other. Okay, so let us rewrite this once again here and then we can solve it easily. X into 6 into 2 over 100 is equal to Y into 3 into 8 over 100. If you make them equal, then obviously these hundreds gets cancelled. Then this uh, uh, 3 can cut this 6 by 2. This 2 to the 4 can cut this 8 by 2. So what do we reach is X by Y is equal to simply 2 or we can say X is equal to 2. 2y. So this is the first connection that we get. We can get some more connection after this. Okay, let us scroll it down together. Now, if we compare the y and z part together, if we compare the y and z part together, what do we get? So it's like y into 3 into 8 over 100 is equal to z into 6 into 6 over 100. If we make them equal, obviously these 100, 100 again get cancelled. Then 8, 3 jar 24 and that can cut 6 by 4. Then this uh, 4 and 6 can be cut by 2, 2, ja 4 and 2, 3, ja 6. So similarly, we reach a down to y is equal to 3 by 2 of z. So this is the another connection that we get x between x, y and z. So using these connection, we can go back to our original equation, which was x plus y plus z is equal to 44,000. Okay. So in this way, we can get the connection. So two connections we have already got. If we compare x and z together also, then also we can get the connection between x and z. So these are the three connections that we are getting. First is uh, x equal to 2y. Another one is y is equal to 3 by 2z. And uh, another one that we get is by comparing the other three is x equal to 3z. So these are the three connections that we are getting. Now if we put these values into the original equation which was x plus y plus z equal to 44,000. So we can relate like x equal to 3z plus uh, y is equal to x by 2. So in place of y we can uh, simply write x by 2. And x is itself 3z, so uh, y becomes 3z by 2. So it's like 3 by 2z plus z itself has to be 44,000 in total. Okay, if we solve this equation further, then we're going to get z is equal to 8,000 as the value. And using this z, we can find out each share. If z is 8,000, then x should be how much? 3 times of z, that is 3 into 8,000, that is going to be 24,000. Okay, if x is 24,000, the y has to be half of x using this equation y has to be half of x so y value is simply 12000 so these are the three part that we receive 8000 24000 and 12000 so that is the answer going to be x is 24000 y is 12000 and your z part is 8000 so these should be the three parts let us see in which particular option it is available so if he had asked for the smallest part only then the smallest part out of us is simply going to be 8000 which is available in option number c and becomes the right answer for us now the next question says in how many years would the simple interest on a certain sum be 1.5 times the principal at 12 percent per annum okay he says simple interest is becoming 1.5 times of the principal so we can write like simple interest is going to be 1.5 times of principal or we can write it like uh, 3 by 2 of principal. 1.5 is nothing but 3 by 2. So and rate value is given out to be 12% per annum and time value is being asked. So we can use the formula obviously the simple interest formula is P into R into T upon 100. If we use this particular value simple interest value in place of simple interest we can keep it as 1.5 p or 3 by 2 p so let me write 3 by 2 p for simple interest is equal to principal as it is rate value is already given 12 time value is unknown divided by 100 if we solve this equation further we can we can cut down the things from both the sides 3 4 ja 12 then this p and p gets cancelled out this 2 can cut this 100 by 50 then this 4 can cut this 50 so we can have 2 by 25 so here where the time value is coming out to be 25 by 2 year, that is nothing but 12.5 of year. So that is going to be the right answer, 12.5 year, which is available in option number C becomes the right answer for us. Okay, 11th, the simple interest on, a, on rupees 800 is rupees 216. So clearly this is your principal, clearly this is your simple interest. If the rate percent of the interest per annum is one third of the number of the years, so they say rate percent that is R is one third of the number of years. So one third of the time. So we can easily say that time is equal to 3R. So we can replace this uh, in the formula. T is equal to 3R. 
and then they are asking for the rate value the rate percent per annum is how much so let us do it we know the formula for simple interest is going to be p into r into t upon 100 okay simple interest is already given to us as 216 is equal to principal value is given to us as 800 into r value is unknown t value i can keep it as 3r so in place of t i can keep as 3r divided by 100 if you solve this equation further so we can cut down these things and if solving this equation we're going to get to reach as 24 r square is going to be 216 okay because we can cut these numbers like 8 and then 8 3 24 where where the r square is coming as 9 and the r value comes out to be 3 percent so that is the right answer r value is 3 percent per annum which is available in option number d and becomes the right answer for us okay then the next question is a a money lender finds that due to a fall in the annual rate of interest from 8 percent to 7 3 by 4 percent his early income diminishes by that is reduces by 61.50 what is his capital okay so because of some fall the rate percent has been decreased from eight percent to seven three by four four percent so in this case the principal is not given so let the principal value is x rupees let us assume the principal as x okay now he says that there is a diminish that is there is a difference so we can say the simple interest of eight percent rate minus simple interest at seven 3 by 4 percent rate should be 61.50 because the difference of the simple interest between these two rate percent is 61.50 so let us use this thing now the principal value we are assumed to be x so the simple interest at 8 percent is going to be x into 8 into time value is given as a money number to fall in the annual rate of interest there is an annual rate of interest so time value can be given as one year divided by 100 minus same principle the rate value this time is 7 3 by 4 7 3 by 4 if we convert this into simple fraction it's going to be 4 7 28 plus 3 31 by 4 percent so in place of r we can use 31 by 4 percent so let's take 31 on the numerator and we'll bring down the 4 in the denominator it's going to be 4 into 100 like that and this difference he says it diminishes by 61.50 so this is the equation that we have we are supposed to solve if we solve this equation, x is coming out to be x equal to 400 times 61.50. Okay. If we solve this equation further, the x value comes out to be finally 24,600. So that is what he had asked for. The capital value or the principal value, which is 24,600, available in option number D and becomes the right answer. Okay. Samir invested an amount of rupees 12,000. So clearly the principal value is given out to be 12,000 rupees at the rate of 10% per annum. So rate value is given as 10% and another amount at the rate of 20%. There is one more amount. So that particular amount is not given. So let us assume that another amount is X and this X is invested at the rate of 20% per annum as written in the question. The total interest earned at the end of one year, that is the time value is, time value for both the cases is going to be one year. Invested become 14% per annum. He says total amount has become 14%. The interest over total amount is equal to 14%. Okay. So individually, we are supposed to calculate uh, its simple interest of over 12,000 at the rate of 10% for one year. And we are again going to calculate separately uh, interest over X rupees or at the rate of 20% for one year. And he says the total amount is be becoming 14% per annum. So total amounts 14% will calculate again for one year. So the, 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 these two should, the sum of these two should be equal to the other one. So let us calculate the first leg, which is got principal value as 12,000 into rate value is 10. Time is obviously one year divided by 100. Plus the another rate of another principle we had assumed to be x. The rate value was 20. Time is again 1 divided by 100. He says the total amount becomes 14%. So total amount will be 12,000 plus x. This will be the total amount. He says the rate of interest becomes 14%. So that is 14 into time is still 1 over 100. So we need to solve this equation. Solving this equation, we reach down to 1 lakh, 16 lakh, 8,000 rupees plus 414x minus 20x is equal to 12 lakh rupees 
rather one lakh twenty thousand rupees. Okay, if we solve this further, we're gonna reach to six x is equal to forty eight thousand, which gives me x value as eight thousand. Okay, what he has asked in the equation for what is the total amount invested? So total amount they are asking for initially the the in amount was twelve thousand. So total amount will be twelve thousand plus eight thousand. That is nothing but going to be twenty thousand rupees. So that is the total amount invested twenty thousand, which is available in option number C as the answer. Now, the simple interest on a sum of money is one ninth of the principal. So let us write that. Simple interest is 1 by 9 times of the principal. So we're going to use this. And the number of years is equal to rate percent per annum. So number of years, that is T is equal to rate. T is equal to R. The rate percent per annum is equal to. We are supposed to solve the value of rate percent. So let us use the simple interest formula. Simple interest is nothing but principal into rate into time over 100. Okay, simple interest value is given as 1 by 9 of principal. So we have put 1 by 9 of principal is equal to principal as it is principal rate value is unknown so we'll just write r for it into time value he has said t is equal to r so we'll in place of t we'll put r divided by 100 if we solve this equation further p gets cancelled from both the sides so it gives me 9 r square is equal to 100 over 9 which gives me r value as 10 by 3 percent 10 by 3 is nothing but 3 1 by 3 percent Per m. So that is going to be the right answer. 3 1 by 3 percent, which is available in option number D, becomes the right answer for me. Now, a sum of money doubles in 25 years. Okay. So, in how many years will it become thrice at the same rate of simple interest? Okay. He's saying sum of money is becoming doubled. Okay. That is, amount is two times of the principal. That's why the sum of money is becoming double. Amount is two times the principal, but what is amount? Amount is nothing but principal plus simple interest. So equating these two equations together, we can reach to a conclusion that principal plus simple interest is twice of P. So how much is the simple interest value? Is 2P minus P, that is P. So this is what we're going to use. Simple interest is equal to principal. So whenever things get doubled, principal get doubled, that means simple interest is equal to principal only. Okay. So we can find out from here also. Okay, simple interest is principal only, and in how many a sum only doubles in twenty five years. So time value is twenty five. So first of all, we need to know the rate percent. Okay, first and foremost, I need to know the rate percent value. So let me use the formula of simple interest that is P into R into T over hundred. Simple interest value is P. Principal is again P. Rate value is unknown. Time value is twenty five over. 100. So we're going to find out the value of R. P and P gets cancelled from both the sides. If solving this, R is coming out to be uh, exactly equal to 100 by 25. That is nothing but 4%. So this is the rate of interest. But he is asking some different thing. He's asking in how many years. In the next phase, he's asking in how many years. So if we talk about the next phase, in the next phase, what we have time value is unknown. Rate value is obviously 4% as per the older scheme. Will it become thrice at the same rate of interest? So that means amount is this time three times of principal. Amount is nothing but principal plus simple interest. So if we equate these two, we're going to get simple interest value as 3p minus p. That is nothing but 2p. So in place of simple interest, now I'm going to use value of 2p. Rate value is 4% and time value is unknown. So let us put that again in the same formula. Simple interest value is 2p. Principal is as is principal, rate value is 4%, time value is unknown, divided by 100. If we solve this equation for T, P and P gets cancelled. This 2 can cut this 4 by 2. So simply T is coming out to be 50 years. Okay, T is coming out to be 50 years and that is going to be the right answer which is available in option number B for us. Okay, next question, a sum of money a sum of rupees 1550 is lent out in two parts, one at 8% and another one at 6%. So we need to assume the two parts first. If the total amount, total annual income is 106, find the money lent at each rate. So obviously rupees 1550 has been divided into two parts. So let us write, let us take the two parts as let the first part is X. So the other part will be obviously 1550 minus X. This will be the other part. So these are the two principles, individual. First one has been invested for 
and the another one has been invested for 6%. So these are the two different rate of interest. If the total annual income, that is time value is taken one year for both. Time value has been taken one year for both. He says the total amount annual income is 106. So that means sum of both the interest, simple interest earned at 6% and simple interest earned at 8% is equal to 106. So that's what we're going to use as an equation. So let us begin with the thing. The first simple interest is X into P into R. R value is A. Time value is 1 over 100 plus another principle is next principle is 1550 minus x this is the next principle into rate value for this principle is 6 time value is 1 over 100 so these are the two simple interest and he says this total income is 106 income is nothing but the interest earned now in the next phase we just supposed to solve this particular equation for x if we solve this simply it comes out to be 8x plus 9300 minus 6x is equal to 10,600 because this 100 has multiplied on the right hand side. Solving this further, we're going to reach to 2x is equal to 1300, which gives me x value as 650. Now, what he has asked for in the equation that is C, find the money lent at each rate. So, x value has already come. So, the another part of the principle was 1550 minus x, that is nothing but 1550 minus 650, that is nothing but 900 rupees. So the two parts that are that were invested was 650 and 900. So these should be the answer only 650 and 900. It is available in option number C becomes the right answer for us. Now question number 17. If simple interest on any amount is equal to 40% of the principal in four years. So he says simple interest is 40% of the principal. That means 40% is nothing but 40 by 100 into P. That is the simple interest value. If you solve this 40 by 100, this 22 is 40 and 25 is 100. So simple interest is coming out to be 2 by 5 of P. So we're going to use that. Simple interest value is 2 by 5 of P. Time value has already given as 4 years. And what else he asked? Then after how many years will, will simple interest be equal to the principal? So for that, we need to first know the rate of interest. Okay, so we'll calculate the rate of interest first using the simple formula of simple interest. Okay, which is simple interest is equal to P into R into T over 100. Okay, simple interest value in place of simple interest, I can keep it as 2 by 5 P is equal to P into rate value is unknown. Time value is 4 years divided by 100. Solving this, P and P gets cancelled from both sides. 5 can cut this 100 by 20 times. 2 can cut this 4 by 2 times. Okay, 2 can cut this 20 by 10 times. So clearly the R value comes out to be 10%. So this is the rate of interest of the scheme. Now, in the second phase of question, what he asks that with the same scheme, how many years will simple interest be equal to principal? That is, he is asked, he is wanting to become simple interest equal to principal. Okay, simple interest is equal to principal. Rate value we already calculated 10%. Time value he is asking because he is asking in how many years. So let us use the formula of simple interest once again. Simple interest value is P. Principal value is again P. Rate value is 10. Time value is unknown divided by 100. If you solve this equation further, P and P gets cancelled out. 10 cuts the 100 by 10. So time value comes out to be 10 years. So that should be the right answer. Time value should be 10 years. And this particular option is available in option number. P becomes the right answer for us. Okay, rupees 800 becomes a 956 in three years at certain rate of interest. So we need to know for uh, particularly that what is that particular rate of interest. So clearly we know the principal value is 800. The amount value is 956. So clearly the simple interest is nothing but amount to minus principal. That is 956 minus 800, which is nothing but 156 rupees. Okay, so that is the simple interest value, 156. Now he says, uh, we need to know the simple uh, the rate percent value. So we're going to use the formula of simple interest. That is P into R into T over 100. If we use this, the simple interest value is 156. Principal value is 800. Into rate value is unknown. Into time value is given out to be 3 years divided by 100. If we solve this equation further, we can cut this 800 by 8 and then we can cut this 156 by 3 on the other side 
थ्री फाइव जा फिफ्टीन एंड थ्री टू जा सिक्स सो द रेट वैल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी थर्टीन बाय टू परसेंट रेट वैल्यू कम्स आउट टू बी थर्टीन बाय टू परसेंट सो दिस इज दैट पर्टिकुलर रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दैट इज बिंग यूज सेज दैन इफ द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज इंक्रीज बाय फोर परसेंट सो लेट एस इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ परसेंट सो द न्यू रेट लेट एस असाइन दैट एज आर एन न्यू रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज फोर परसेंट मोर थर्टीन बाय टू प्लस फोर दैट इज नथिंग बट टेन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट ओके दैट इज नथिंग बट टेन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट और रादर वी कैन राइट दैट एज ट्वेंटी वन बाई टू परसेंट दिस इज द न्यू रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट आर एन ओके देन ही आस If the rate of interest is increased by four percent, what amount will rupees eight hundred become in three years? That is, the new principal is eight hundred, and new time value is new time value is three years. Okay, so let us use the simple formula of simple interest. Simple interest value we need to know because then only we can find out the amount. Okay, so we need to know the simple interest. New simple interest is equal to principal is eight hundred this time. Into rate value is the new rate value that is twenty one by two. So we can we'll keep the two on the denominator. Okay. Into time value he wants us to calculate. Okay. Is it really up to eight hundred? We become in three years. No, the time value is given as three. Okay. So we need to know the simple interest for this. Divide by hundred. So solving this new simple interest is coming as new simple interest is coming as solving this the new simple interest is coming as rupees two fifty two. He has said rupees eight hundred will become what? So that the new amount is going to be eight hundred plus two fifty two. If we add them together, this is going to be rupees one thousand fifty two. So that will be the new amount value become one thousand fifty two, which is available in option number C and becomes the right answer for us. Now, Surinder lent some money to Ranjit at the rate of simple interest of five percent for nine years. He received four ninety five less than its principal as an interest. Okay, so this is the situation given. So obviously the principal value is not given. So let us assume the principal plus. Let the principal value is principal value is x. Principal value is x rupees. Then he says he received four ninety five less than principal as an interest. So simple interest value is four ninety five less than the principal value. So principal value is x minus four ninety five. This is the simple interest. Okay, simple interest is four ninety five less than the principal value. So this is the simple interest. Rate value has already given out to be five percent, and time value they have given out to be nine years. Okay, using these values, let us apply the formula of simple interest. Simple interest is going to be principal into rate into time over hundred. Okay, simple interest value is x minus four ninety five is equal to principal value is x. Rate value given as five, time value given as nine divided by hundred. So we just need to solve this equation further. If we solve this equation further, we're going to reach to hundred x minus four nine five double zero is equal to forty five x. If we solve this equation further, we are reaching to x value as nine hundred rupees. X value as nine hundred rupees. And what he has asked, what was the amount lent by him? So amount lent by him was nothing but the principal value, that is nine hundred. This particular uh, thing is available in option number A and becomes the right answer for us. Okay. At what rate percent of simple interest will a sum of money double itself in fifteen years? Okay. So clearly the rate percent is being asked, so that is unknown. Okay. And double itself in fifteen years, so time value is obviously fifteen years. Time value is given out to be fifteen years. A sum of money double itself. So let's say that let's say that principal value is let's say the principal value is nothing but x. Okay, let's say the principal value is x rupees. Okay, and we need to know the simple interest first. But he says the amount is twice of principal. Money will double. So if money will double, that the amount received will be twice of the principal. But amount is nothing but principal plus simple interest. That is what is amount. So if we equate these two things together, so this gives me simple interest is equal to p only. So simple interest is p. Principal is x. Or uh, for this case, I had assumed principal to be uh, x. So simple interest is going to be x. Okay, because the simple interest is equal to principal, and the principal I had assumed to be. P so simple interest is all uh, simp, uh, principal I had assumed to be x so simple interest is also x okay now let us use the simple formula of simple interest simple interest is p into r into t upon hundred what do I have as simple interest is the x itself what do I have as the principal that is x itself 
rate value is unknown, time value is 15 as given in the question divided by 100. If you solve this equation, x and x get cancelled. So 15 and 100 can be cut by 5, 5, 3 are 15 and 5 into 20 is 100. So R value is coming out to be 100 by 15 or rather 20 by 3, 20 by 3 percent, which can be further break, broken down into 6, 2 by 3, 6, 2 by 3 percent. So this should be the right answer, 6, 2 by 3 percent. Now, if you look at the uh, options given, what he has said, what he has done is, in place of writing the rate percent percentage, he has played with the numbers. See, 6, 2 by 3, if, if, if you want to know the 6, 2 by 3 of a year, of one year, that will be 6, 2 by 3 times of 12 months. 6, 2 by 3 times of 12 months. So that is ob that will obviously become, 6 years plus 2 by 3 of 12 months. That will nothing be 6 plus 2 by 3 of 12 months will be 3, 4, 12, 4, 2, 8. 6 years plus 8 months. So 6, 2 by 3, if we convert that into year, 6, 2 by 3 converted into year will give you actually 6 years and 8 months. So that should be the right answer. That is 6 years and 8 months becomes the right answer as the rate percent. Okay, 21. But he says, how much interest will a sum of rupees 4,500 earn in 3 years and 4 months at the rate of 9, 1 by 5%? So everything is given. See, the principal value is 4,500. Time value is 3 years plus 4 months. So we need to convert this into year because in the simple interest formula, time value is used as the year only. So 3 years plus 4 months, nothing but... 3 plus, if I convert 4 months into year, so a, a year has got 12 months. So 4 months converted into year will have to multiply it by 12. So this is becoming 3 plus 1 by 3 of a year. That is nothing but 10 by 3 of a year. So the time value can be used as 10 by 3. Okay, in place of 3 years and 4 months, it can be used as 10 by 3. Okay, now... Uh, the rate percent is also given 9 1 by 5 percent if we convert it into simple fraction 9 1 by 5 percent is 5 9 of 45 plus 1 so it's going to be 46 by 5 percent so this is the rate of interest 46 by 5 percent and the time value is 10 by 3 if we use this equation if we use these values to find out the uh, interest so simple interest is principal into rate into time of 100 principal is for 4500 Rate value is 46 by 5 percent. So let's put 46 up and 5 down. Okay, into time value is 10 by 3. So let's have 10 up and 3 down and divided by 100. So this should be the simple interest. If we solve this equation further and let us do the simplification. So we can cut 45 by 5, that is 5 9 of 45. What else we can cut? We can cut this 9 by 3, 3 3 9. So it ultimately becomes 46 into 30, that is nothing but 1380. That is the right answer. So this should be the simple interest earned. Rupees 1380. It is available in option number. B becomes the right answer for us. Now, let's see the question number 22. Okay. In the question number 22, he says the difference between the simple interest received from two different banks on rupees 500 for two years is rupees 2.50. Okay. Difference between the simple interest from two different banks on rupees 500. So the principal for both the schemes is 500 only. Okay. Time value for both the schemes is 2 years only. For both the banks is 2 years only. And the difference is coming out to be 2.50. So the difference value of the interest is coming out to be 2.50. So what we're going to do? We, we will apply the simple interest formula for both the schemes and subtract them. And we'll make it equal to 2.50. So what we'll do? We'll do simple interest earned from first bank. Because of, and the rate value is not mentioned, so obviously there will be a difference because of the rate. Simple interest at let's say rate R1 minus simple interest at let's say rate R2, and this will equal to be the difference of 2.50. So this is what we're gonna do. SI at R1. So SI at, at R1 is nothing but principal is 500 only. So 500 into time value is 2, rate value is R1 divided by 100 minus the same principal 500 same time to the rate value is r2 divided by 100 is equal to 2.50 okay so difference is giving out to be 
2.50. This is what is given. Now, what they want us to calculate difference between their per annum rates of interest. So, they want us to calculate R1 minus R2. Okay. What they want us to calculate? They want us to calculate R1 minus R2. So, we need to solve this equation. If we solve this equation, obviously, this much factor can be taken common. 500 into 2 by 100 can be taken common from both the parts. So, if we do that, this is going to be 500 into 2 divided by 100. In the bracket, it remains R1 minus R2 is equal to 2.50. Okay. If we cut this, it is 5 times 5 into 2 is 10. So, R1 minus R2 is becoming 10 into 2.5. Rather 10 2.5 divided by 10 that is nothing but 0 0.25. So that is the R1 minus R2 value 0 0.25 percent. It is available in option number B becomes the right answer. Now A lent a sum of rupees 1250 to B at a certain rate of interest for three years. For sum of rupees and a sum of rupees 1500 to C at same rate of interest for two years. So a is lending different different money to different different people for different different time. If he was paid rupees 258.75 as interest of both the cases, find the rate of interest at which money was lent by him. So obviously the money was lent by him because they are asking for just single rate of interest. Then obviously the rate of interest for both the scheme is same. First we need to understand this because he is asking find the rate of interest at which money was lent by him. So he is asking for just one rate of interest. So obviously it will be same for both the schemes. Okay. So let that rate of interest is R percent, which we have to find out. In the first scheme, 1250 is used as the principal. Rate value is obviously R. Time value is two years. In the another scheme, principal value is 1500. He lent it. Rate value is R percent. Time value should be three. Okay. 1250 is invested for three years. And the 1500 is invested for two years rather. And he says the total, uh, he was paid total 258.75 is interest. So total interest is given as 258.75. So obviously interest earned from the first scheme and from the second scheme, the total should be 258.75. This is what we're going to do. So let us begin. Simple interest is P into R into T upon 100. So first, in first case, principal is 1250. Rate value is R, time value is 3 divided by 100 plus interest earned from the second scheme. 1500 is the principal, rate value is still R, time value is 2 divided by 100 should be equal to 258.75. That should be the total income of his uh, investments. Now, if we solve this equation further, R value is coming out to be 25875. Divided by 6750. If we cut down these numbers and simplify, this is becoming equal to 23 by 6. That is simply in the mixed fraction is 3, 3, 5 by 6 percent. In the mixed fraction is coming as 3, 5 by 6 percent. So that should be the right answer 3, 5 by 6 percent. It is available in option number D and becomes the right answer for us. Now, how much time will it take for an amount of rupees 4,500 to yield rupees 675? So obviously, principal is 4,500 to yield 675 as an interest. So obviously, the simple interest is 675 at a rate of 7.5% of simple interest. So the rate value is 7.5% per annum. So we are supposed to find out a time value. So we need this. We know the simple interest formula is P into R into T over 100. Okay, so we just have to use the simple simple interest formula. So simple interest is already given to us as 675 is equal to principal given to us as 4500 into rate value is given to us as 7.5 percent. Okay, time value we are supposed to find out divided by 100. If we solve this equation further, so we can cut this 100 and 4500 double zeros are gone. Then we are left out with 45 into 7.5 divided by 675. So time value comes out to be. 675 divided by 45 into 7.5 okay if we cut down these numbers we're going to reach the time value as simply two years so that is the answer time is two years available in option number d becomes the right answer for us now what interest b will be had on rupees 450 in two years if an interest of rupees 0 0.40 is charged on rupees one for four years okay this is what is the situation given 0.40 rupees is charged for rupees 1 for 4 years. Okay. 
so we are we need to know what interest will be had on 450 for two in two years okay so let us find out one thing they are saying rupees 0 0.40 rupees 0 0.40 is to be charged on one rupees for four years so let us break it one by one okay if 0.4 rupees being charged for at one rupee as an interest for four years then if you want to know for two years how much will be the charge if you want to go back like this in place of two four years if it is two years two years for on one rupees how much will be charged for four years if it is 0.4 so how much will be for two years will be just half of that so that will be nothing but 0 0.2 if four for four years if it is point zero point four, so for two years it will be 0 0.2 that will be the interest charge this 0 0.2 is on one rupees on one rupee is the 0 0.2 okay how many rupees do we have we have got 450 rupees so for one rupees if it is 0 0.2 then how much for rupees or how, ma how many how much for rupees 450 rupees is obviously going to be 450 into 0 0.2 okay if you multiply this together we're going to reach to 90 so by using the in uh, unitary method we can simply solve this and the, it comes out to be 90 rupees and that is available in option number c becomes the right answer for us now what annual installment should be paid to clear the debt of rupees 645 in four years at the rate of five percent per annum simple interest okay so first of all we'll assume let the installment that is to be paid annually let the installment to be paid annually is x rupees okay then you can go by this formula okay so for the first situation we need to know the total amount that he has to clear as a debt so total he has to clear 645 plus the interest over 645 645 is the principal amount principal amount plus the interest also of, on the principal amount so interest is obviously 645 into rate value is 5 time value is 4 years over 100 so this much amount is to be cleared okay by paying a uh, annual installment of x rupees okay that is 645 plus 5% 5 of 645 for 4 years that is the total amount to be paid if we have assumed the interest uh, the the emi to be the annual installment to be x rupees so first of all there he will have to pay the x plus 3 years interest okay because it will go one by one so x plus 3 years interest will be x into 3 into the rate of interest 5 over 100 okay this will be the first installment with the with the interest of it plus again in the second year he will be playing, playing again x plus the rate of interest will be again the 5% but the time value now will be just 2 years because 1 year will be lesser so dip into 5 by 100 plus again in the third year he'll have to pay x plus x into 1 into 5 over 100 that is interest for just one year and in the fourth year he'll just have to pay the x amount so this is how the things are distributed three three years principal plus interest two years principal plus interest one year's principal plus interest and then just the principal this is how the emi will be distributed for one two three and four year and this total value should come out to be the total principal plus total interest paid if we solve this big equation fur further we're going to reach to the simplified form as 4x plus 3x by 10 is 774 which gives me the x value as rupees 180 so rupees 180 should be charged uh, as an annual installment to clear the debt of 645 rupees with the rate of interest of 5 percent in the four years so the rupees 180 should be the right answer it is available in option number c now a certain sum of money amounts to rupees 1250 so clearly the principal is unknown certain he has mentioned amounts to 1250 so amount value is 1250 rupees so simple interest should be how much simple interest should be amount minus principal that is 1250 minus p that should be the simple interest to be used and rupees in two years and rupees 350 in four years so we can go by another leg also that the simple interest is becoming uh, in two years it is becoming 1250 and in in four years it is becoming 350 so the two years amount can be used as a principal okay so the principal can be used as exactly 1250 
टू इयर्स अमाउंट कैन बी ट्रीटेड एज द प्रिंसिपल इट सेल्फ दैट इज ट्वेल्व फिफ्टी सर्टन समी अमाउंट टू ट्वेल्व फिफ्टी इन टू ईयर्स एंड रुपीज थ्री फिफ्टी इन फोर ईयर्स सो इन सिंपल इंटरेस्ट शुड बी हाउ मच इट द अमाउंट हैज टू ट्वेल्व फिफ्टी इन टू ईयर्स एंड रुपीज थ्री फिफ्टी इन फोर ईयर्स सो हाउ मच इज द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑब्वियसली दिस इज वन थाउजेंड थ्री फिफ्टी okay so the question says a certain sum of money amounts to rupees 1250 in 2 years and to rupees 1350 in 4 years okay find the rate of interest so r is unknown as they can see r is unknown now in 2 years the amount is 1250 and in 4 year amount is 1350 so the amount has increased from 1250 to 1350 in how many years in just 2 years okay Amount has increased from one two five zero to one three five zero in just two years. So how much has the amount increased? If we subtract one three five zero minus one two five zero, we're gonna get the difference as hundred. So amount has increased just hundred. So whatever is the growth, that is nothing but the simple interest only. So amount has grown by hundred rupees. So that's what is the simple interest. So now the simple interest is there with us. Time value is two years. We will take time as two years, and the rate is unknown. The principal can be treated as one two five zero because the um, the principal of one two five zero has grown by hundred in a time of two years. At what rate of interest? Now this is the question in front of us. So let us apply our simple formula of simple interest. Simple interest is P into R into T over hundred. Okay. Now we know the principal. The simple interest is hundred is equal to principal is one two five zero. Rate value is unknown. Time value is two years as it is mentioned divided by hundred. So if we solve this equation further, we're gonna get as the the if we solve this further, this hundred can cancel this zero, this two can cancel this ten by five. Okay, then this one twenty five can also cut this hundred twenty five five ja one twenty five twenty five four ja uh hundred. So the R value comes out to be using this has to be exactly ten point three five rather. 4.35% using this the r value is coming out to be 4.35% so that is going to be the right answer rate value is 4.35% which is available in option number d and becomes the right answer for us now in the next question they say medhavi lent rupees 5000 to kamla for 5 years and rupees 3000 to bimla for 4 years so one principal is 5000 another principal is 3 3000 this is p2 this is p1 one time is 5 years another time is t2 is 4 years find the rate of interest if medhavi gets an interest of rupees 600 in the end so medhavi has lent some money to kamla and some some more money to vimla so and obviously if he has lent it out so she will take the interest of it also back so whatever is is the income that's what is given as 600 So whatever is the total simple interest earned by giving money to Kamla, and whatever is the total simple interest uh, by giving it to Vimla, the total of those simple interest by both the scheme is six hundred. So S I one given to Kamla plus S I two given to Vimla, the total is rupees six hundred. That is the final equation in front of you. So let us find out the both of simple interest. Simple interest is P into R into T upon hundred. So principal for the first scheme is five thousand because Kamla has been given five thousand as principal. Into rate value is still to be find out, so that is unknown. Into time value for Vim Kamla is five years, so five by hundred. Plus the money given to Vimla is three thousand, so the principal amount is three thousand. Rate value is still the same and unknown. Into time value is to money given to Vimla for four years, so four upon hundred. This is four upon hundred, so this is the total simple interest earned. And they say at the end she receives six hundred. So this value is equal to six hundred. We need to solve this equation further. Okay, we can cut down some zeros like that. Okay, these zeros can be cut down easily. So if you solve this, this is coming out to be two fifty R plus one twenty R is equal to six hundred. That is what it is coming out to be. If you solve this further, R is coming out to be six hundred by three seventy, which is nothing but one point six two percent. Okay, so that is the rate of interest, one point six two percent, available in option number A. So becomes the right answer for us. Okay, let's go to the next one, twenty nine. A sum fetched a total simple interest of rupees five one eight four. So total simple interest is given as five one eight four at the rate of twelve percent per annum. So rate value is given as twelve. Time value is given as in six years. So time value is given as six. So we just need to find out the principal value that is unknown. 
we have the simple formula where the simple interest is PRT over 100. Simple interest value is 5184 is equal to principal is to be found out. So it is unknown. Rate value is given as 12. Time value is given as 6 divided by 100. If you solve this equation further, we can cut down some numbers like that. Okay, this 100 can be cut by 4 by 25. So it can cut by 3. Okay, so if we, we solve this further, that can we can reduce this equation. And finally, the principal value is coming out to be 7200. Okay, by solving this, we are getting the principal value as 7200, which is available in option number C. Next, <clears throat> Rajat invested rupees 84 at certain rate of interest, which amounted to rupees 102. So 84 rupees was obviously the principal, which amounted to 102 rupees. Okay, so that is what is amount. Okay, in how many, how, in how much time? It's in three years this has happened. So what is the interest value? Interest value is nothing but the difference of these two, 102 minus 84. That is nothing but 18 rupees. So 18 rupees has been the interest. Okay, this 18 rupees has been the simple interest and time value is three years. The principal value is 84. So using these three numbers, we can have the formula of simple interest to find out the rate. Okay, simple interest is always P into R into T over 100. We know most of the values. Simple interest value is given out to be 18. Principal value is 84 into rate is to be found out. Time value is 3 years divided by 100. If you solve this equation further for R, R value comes out to be 100 by 4%. That is nothing but rather 100 by 14%. Let us solve this here. So it R comes out to be 100 by 14%. Okay, we can solve this further also, but this question is going ahead. So we'll stick to this only 100 by 14 and then we'll uh, solve the other part of the question which says if he again invested rupees 96. So the new principle now is the new principle now is 96 rupees with the same rate of interest. So R value is as received in the first part 100 by 14 percent. What amount will he receive after five years? So the time value is five years now. The time value is there, rate value is there, principal value is there. We are supposed to find out the amount after that. So for that, we need to find out the simple interest. So simple interest is principal into rate into time over 100. So 96, rate value is 100 and the 14 can be brought in the denominator like that into time value is 5. Okay, so and divided by 100. If we solve this equation further, this 100 and 100 gets cancelled. 14 can cut 96. 14 and 5 is also available. So if, if we solve this further, the simple interest value is coming out to be rupees 34.28. So this is the simple interest coming. They had asked for how much amount it will receive. So amount value is always simple interest plus principal. Okay, so simple interest is 34.28. Principal value was 96. So it is going to be 96 plus 34.28. If we solve this further, this is coming out to be the, the final value of this sum is coming out to be 130.28 so that what will be the amount received after five years okay and this particular option is available in answer is available in option number c so that becomes a right answer 31 which of the following sum of money will amount to rupees 1050 so clearly the amount value is given as 1050 in five years, so the time value is given as five years, rate value is given as 8% per annum, okay? So clearly the principal is unknown, will amount to per, per annum simple interest. So amount is given, time is given, rate is given, and principal we need to find out. That's what he's asking for in the, in the question. Now, the uh, simple interest is always P into R into T upon 100. And amount value is always P plus simple interest, principal plus simple interest. So we can use this equation and find out the amount. So amount value, let us see this equation. Amount value is already given 1050 is equal to principal is unknown. So let's keep it as P only. Plus simple interest can be written as per the formula. So it's going to be P into rate value is how much? Rate value is 8% into time value is 5 divided by 100. So we need to solve this equation to get the P. Okay, if we solve this further, the P is coming out to be 7P by 5 is coming out to be 1050, which gives us P value as rupees 750. So P principal value comes out to be rupees 750. So that is the right answer available in option number A. Now divide rupees 2379 into three parts so that their amounts after two, three, four years respectively may be equal. 
the rate of interest being 5% per annum at simple interest. So what have they asked for? There was a money of 2379 in total. It was divided in three parts. Okay. It was divided in three parts and the three different parts have got different, were invested in different, different schemes. Rate of interest was same, but the time was different. So let us do one thing. Let us assign the parts. Okay. Let's say that first part is X and the part was Y and third part was Z. Let's say the parts were like that. Now they say the rate of interest. So these are the principal values. Okay. The rate of interest for all the three schemes, he said the rate of interest being 5%. So rate of interest for first part is also 5%. Another part is also 5%. The last part is also 5%. Then he said the time value for, for each part was 2, 3, and 4 respectively. So time value for the first part was 2 year. Time value for the second part was 3 year. And the time value for the last part was 4 year. Then he says the amount received by these three parts was equal. That means the simple interest for all these three parts were equal. So we can put the simple interest formula and made, make all the simple interest equal to equal each other. Okay, so let us find out the first part. Simple interest is always principal into rate into time over 100. Principal is X, rate value is 5, time value is 2 over 100. This should be equal to simple interest in the second part. That is principal is Y, rate value is 5, time value is 3 over 100. Should be equal to the third part, simple interest, principal is Z, rate value is 5 and time value is 4 divided by 100. So this is the this is the particular expression that we get, which can find out, which can help us finding out the relation between X, Y, and Z. Okay. So if we solve this simply, so these 100 can be get cancelled in all the three parts. 5 gets cancelled in all the three parts. So this equation ultimately reduces to this, this, this is the equation that is 2x simple interest being equal. He said the rate of interest being 5% per annum at simple interest. What is the first part? But he said, uh, divide this some of the amount of 2, 3, 4, so that their amounts after 2, 3, 4 years respectively may be equal. So not just simple interest, but the amount has been equal. So we have to do a correction into this because the amount has been equal. So we'd add the principal to each part because the amount is nothing but amount is nothing but principal plus simple interest. That is what is amount means. So the, the, the amount for the first part is simple interest plus X. Amount for the second part would be Y plus the simple interest of it. So this is the amount in the second part. Amount in the second part. Amount in the third part is going to be plus Z along. Okay, because the principal is also to be added. So that is the amount in the third part. Okay, so amount have been equal, not the simple interest. Now, if you solve these equations further, ultimate result coming out to be is 22X by 20 is equal to 23Y by 20 is equal to 24Z by 20. So this is the last connection that we get after uh, making them all equal. Now, let us just solve it. If we solve this further, what do we get? Uh, y is equal to 22 by 23x and z is equal to 11 by 12 x. So these are the two conditions that we get by comparing each of them. Now we can use these two conditions to solve further. What we can do? See, y, y x plus 22 by 20 x because x plus y plus z what we are doing here is we are doing x plus y plus z was actually equal to 2379 because the, these were all the parts of two rupees 2379 only so in place of x what we can write in place of x we will just write x but in place of y what will we keep y was 22 into 20, 22 by 23 x so in place of y we can keep what y value was 22 by 23. So we can keep 22 by 23 x in place of y plus z value was 11 by 12 x. So in place of z, what we can write 11 by 12 x. And this is equal to 2379. What we have done, we have converted all the terms into the x expression only. Now we can solve this further. Okay. If we solve this further, this is coming out to be 793 over 276 x is equal to 2379. If we solve this further, the x value comes out to be 828. x value comes out to be 828. What they had asked for in the equation? Okay, if you see, they are asked for what is the first part. So we had assumed our first part to be x only. And that's what we have found out in the answer. x value is 828. So that should be the answer only. B, 828 is the right answer. 
Okay. At what rate percent per annum will the simple interest on a sum of money be 2 by 5 of the amount in 10 years? Sum of money should be 2 by 5 of the amount in 10 years. That's what he has asked. So, so what, what is the equation is that interest has to be the amount in 10 years. Sum of money be 2 by 5 of that of the principal. So, the amount should be 2 by 5 of the principal. Okay. The amount should be 2 by 5 times of the principal. That's what is the connect connection. Let the principal is P only. Okay. And the time value is given out to be 10 years. Let us use the formula for simple interest in this equation. Now, amount is becoming 2 by 5. So, the rate value can be used the expression as we have the expression of simple interest as P into R into T over 100. So, we can generate the expression for rate also because he has asked for what rate percent per annum. So, the formula for rate becomes SI into 100 divided by principal into T. Okay, so we can directly use this formula and put our all values. So, rate value is uh, equal to 2 by 5 of uh, principal that is the simple interest as stated in the equation into 100 divided by principal value is p itself into time value is how much time value is 10 okay so it's becoming like this if you solve this further obviously p and p gets cancelled so it is going to be 40 by 10 that is nothing but four percent so rate value is coming out to be four percent and available in option number d becomes the right answer for us okay what will be the ratio of simple interest earned by certain amount at the same rate of interest for six years and that for nine years? He's asking for what will be the ratio of simple interest. That is simple interest at the at for six years is to simple interest for nine years. That's what is the ratio being asked for. Simple interest for six years is to simple interest for nine years. The ratio is being asked. Okay, so in this type of question, we can assume principal to be anything. Okay, principal can be assumed as P also, as 100 also, because when you will be solving the ratio, the same principal will, cut, will be cut out from both the sides. Okay, so let us have principal as P only, or we can take it 100 also, we can take anything. So let me have principal as 100. Okay, let us have the principal as 100. He says, simple interest earned by certain amount at the same rate so that means the rate value can be taken as same rate value is same in both the scheme and time value is different for the first scheme time value is, so let's say t1 is 6 and t2 is 9 so time value is different 6 and 9 and they say the simple interest is equal as they say what is the ratio of simple interest earned by certain amount at the same rate of interest for 6 years that of 9 years so simple interest for the first scheme will be 100 principal into rate value is r into time value is 6 divided by 100 is 2 simple interest for 9 years principal is 100 rate value is uh, uh, same into time value is 9 over 100 so if you solve this 100 and 100 cancel out from both the sides like that so it's going to be 6r is to 9r okay so the ratio becomes simply 2 is to 3 so in this case when the simple interest to be calculated for, between the ratio of 6 years to 9 years the ratio simple simplified ratio comes out to be 2 is to 3 and becomes the right answer for us let's have the next one 35 a person invests rupees 5000 at 5% 5 per cent simple interest for a certain period of time the time period is not mentioned okay and earns rupees 750 so what all has been given in this particular condition is the principal principal value is given as 5000 okay the rate value is given as 5% and certain period so time value is unknown and this, he earns so whatever he earns is his simple interest simple interest is rupees 750 this is happening in the first scheme what's happening in the second scheme if he earns rupees 720 on rupees 6000 in the same time period okay then the next principle is let's say that it was p1 r1 t1 and si1 so for p2 the principle is if he earns 720 on rupees 6000 so p2 is 6000 rate he says in the same rate, in the same time period, what is the rate of interest? So R2 is unknown. Rate of interest to be found out. And in the same time period, so T2 is nothing but equal to T1. Okay. And the simple interest earned in the second scheme, he says, earns how much? Rupees 720. So these are the things in front of us. He says the amount earned is equal. So whatever is appears in 750 if you earn 720 this is on the same spread what is the rate of interest so we need to find out the rate of interest in the second scheme using the time value calculation of the first scheme 
okay whatever the t1 we will be calculating from the first part we'll put that t1 in the second part's equation and we'll be able to find out the rate okay so let us just do it what all he has said okay so let us find out the time in the first case see simple interest is p into r into t over 100 okay so simple interest is already given out to be 750 principal is 5000 for the first scheme rate value is 5% for the first scheme time value is unknown that is t1 over 100 if we solve this equation for our uh, t1 the ultimate t1 value is coming out to be 3 years okay so the for the first scheme the time was 3 years now this 3 years time can be used in the second part because the time was same he says the same time period so for the second part, if we use the same simple interest formula once again, our simple interest this time around is 720. Principal this time around is 6000 into rate this time around is unknown. So R2 is unknown into time is same as used in the first part. So it is 3 divided by 100. Okay, it's like that. So if you solve this further for the R2, the R2 is finally coming out to be in this particular case, R2 is coming out to be 4%. Okay, for solving this, R2 is coming out to be 4% and that is available in option number B becomes the right answer for us. Now, Poonam borrowed a sum of rupees 1680 into two parts, one at 9%, another at 6%. If the total amount annual income of rupees 126 is received, find the money she borrowed at each rate. So, there was a total of 1680 that was distributed. So, let us do it like this. Total was 1680. Let the first part was X. So another part would have been 1680 minus x. So these were the two parts in which the scheme was implemented. The first part, let's say the first part is x part. Let's say it was invested for 9% as in the equation and the other part at 6%. So the rate of interest for the sec first part is 9%. Rate of interest for the second part is 6%. Principal P1 and P2 are like that. Okay. If the total annual income, so the time value for both the cases, one year annual means one year. So time value for both the cases, one year only. He said the total income is 126. So we'll find out the SI1 and we'll find out the SI2 and we'll put that equal to 126 because that is the total income. So how much is the SI1? It's going to be X into SI1 is principal into rate. That is 9 into time is 1 divided by 100 plus SI2 is principal is 1680 minus X into rate value is 6 into time value is still 1 divided by 100 and this is equal to 126 okay so this is the expression in front of us and we need to solve this for x so let us do it okay if sim if you simplify these two equations further these this first equation further we're going to reduce to 9x by 100 plus 10080 minus 6x over 100 is equal to 126 if you solve this further we are receiving 3x is equal to 2520, which is giving us S value as 840. Okay, x is 840. What he has asked for in the question, he has asked for find the money she borrowed at each rate. So both the parts have to be found out, x and the other part also. x we have already found out 840. So the other part will be total money invested was 1680 minus x. So it is going to be 1680 minus 840, which is nothing but 840 again so the part of the both the sides are 840 and 840 only so let us just see so part each part is just 840 available in option number d and becomes the right answer for us let's have the next one 37 okay what they say if a certain sum of money at simple interest amounts to rupees 1900 in three years so certain sum of money so principal value is clearly unknown okay amounts to rupees 1900 so amount value is 1900 in three years time value is given as three years and the same uh, amount to, amounts to 2050 in five years okay so it becomes 2050 in five years so this 1900 uh, if in total it is in five years so if this 1900 after three years there are two year more four and five so the time value we take as two years because if something is becoming 1900 in three years and then in five years becoming is 2050, so there is a gap of two years. So ultimately the time value is two years. Principal is nothing but 1900 only because 1900 is growing to 2050 in two years. So principal can be taken as 1900. Okay. Amount is 2050. 
amount becomes 2050. So how much is the simple interest? Simple interest is always or amount minus principal that is 2050 minus 1900. How much is that? That is uh, nothing but rupees 150. So that is the simple interest. 1900 has earned a 150 rupees simple interest to get to get to 2050 in total time of two years. So we are supposed to find out the rate of interest for this scheme. So we're going to use the formula. Simple interest is P into R into T over 100. Simple interest is 150. Principal value is 1900. Rate value is unknown. Time value is 2 divided by 150 is equal to divided by 100. If we solve this equation further, we can reach to R and the R value by solving this is ultimately coming out to be four and a half percent. R value in this question is coming out to be four and a half percent, which is available in option number A becomes the right answer for us. Now, a simple interest on a certain sum of money, four years at 5% per annum is same. So principal is clearly unknown. So let the principal is not known. Okay, rate time value is four years, rate value is five percent, is same as the simple interest on rupees eight forty. Second principle is given as eight forty for time value is two years. So the T2 is two year T two is ten years at the rate percent of four percent. So rate percent of both the schemes is given, time factor of both the schemes is given. Principle for the first scheme is given, principle for the another scheme is unknown, and that is to be found out also. And this says the simple interest is same. So simple interest in the first scheme is equal to simple interest in the second scheme. In the first scheme, we have the unknown principal. So it's P into rate value in the first scheme is 5% into 5 time value in the first scheme is 4 years. So into 4 divided by 100 is equal to simple interest on the other side is principal value is 840. So it's 840 time value is 10 years. So it is 10 years rate value is uh, four percent per annum so we'll use four percent per annum divided by 100 both the simple interests are same so solving this we can re uh, find out our principal value we can cut down these numbers like that five can cut 10 by two similarly four and four gets cancelled on other side so this way the principal comes out to be rupees 1680 rupees that is the principle of the first part which is available in option number c becomes the right answer for us next they say a sum of rupees 725 is lent in the beginning of a year at a certain rate of interest. So rate of interest is unknown. After eight months, a sum of rupees 36250 more is lent, but at that rate twice the former. So clearly rate two is twice the rate one. This is the first thing that we get. At the end of the year, rupees 33.50 is earned as an interest. So total simple interest earned is 33.50. Okay, from both the loans, find the original rate of interest. So we are supposed to find out the R1 value, rate of interest to be found out. So clearly, let us have the first scheme. In the first scheme, principal was rupees 725. Okay, the rate value was unknown and it was lent in the beginning of a year for a complete one year. Okay, so how much is that? It's going to be simple interest is principal, that is 725 into rate. Rate is unknown. Let us keep it as R1 only into time it was invested for one year so it has to be one at the end of the year we have to find out so it is one divided by 100 that is the simple interest of the first part plus from the next part the principal he says after eight months 36250 is more lent out so how much is the principal in the second part 36250 into rate value he says is twice so r2 is twice of r1 so in place of rate r2 we'll keep it as twice of r1 okay we'll keep it as twice of r1 into he says after eight months it was withdrawn it was lent out so after eight months how many months are left out to complete a year there are 12 months in a year and after eight months it has been lent out so how many years are, how many months are there for it to be in the scheme is 12 minus 8 that is only for four months it will be part of the uh, scheme so the time value will be used as four months but the time value is always taken in the year part. So we cannot keep 4 as a month value. We have to convert this 4 month into year. That is nothing but 4 by 12. Okay. And into 100 is as it is. So this is the time factor that is 4 by 12 because the scheme left is left out for just 4 months. And this 4 months were converted into year by doing it 4 by 12. And this total simple interest earned is 33.50 as given in the question itself. So we just need to solve this equation for R1. 
If we do that, we are reducing down to uh, R1 is equal to 3 into 3350 divided by 2900. If you solve this further, the final value comes out to be 3.46%. So that is the R1 value, 3.46%. It is available in option number D and becomes the right answer for us. Now, what equal installments of annual payment will discharge a debt of rupees of which is due as rupees 848 at the end of four years at 4% per annum simple interest? That is the question given. So we have to so first of all find out what is the annual uh, an annual payment that is to be paid. So annual installment is needed to be assumed first. Then only we can have the uh, formula in the scene. Let us say the annual installment that is required. Let us say the annual installment that is to be paid. Let us say the annual installment that is to be paid is rupees X. Let us assume like that. Now how it goes? They as they say it has to be discharged. It has to be discharged in four years. The, the principal is 848 and it is running for four years at a rate of 4% per, per annum. So what will happen? First of all, you will have to calculate the, the total principal plus interest value for four year. Then in the next year, it will be reduced to three year. Then in the next year, it will be reduced to two year. And then in the next year, it will be reduced to just one year. Okay. So let us go one by one, step by step. If we just initiate the payment, so the for, for the very first year, the prince you will have to pay both principal and interest also. So the first part is the annual installment X plus rate plus interest of it also to be paid. How much is the interest of it? Prince principal into rate. Rate value is four into time. Time value is three only because it is left out for three years only. So into three by hundred. This is the first year payment that is to be made, including the principal and the interest part plus. What is happening in the second year? Again, you will have to pay the principal and the interest part. Principal is as it is X. That is the annual installment only for each, each year. Plus how much interest is left out is going to be X into principal into rate value is 4. Time value will be down just 2 because you have already covered 1 year. So time value now will be 2 divided by 100. This is the, this is the scheme in the second year. Now what's happening in the third year? Obviously the original principal you will have to pay the installment plus the interest of it that is left out for just one year now divided by 100 and for the first year and for the last year you just pay the principal amount that is x so this this is how the four years payment has been distributed in four equal equal parts and this whole thing should be, be become equal to 848 this whole thing should be equal to 848 because that was what lent out only solve let us solve this equation obviously these x x and x can be taken together to simplify so it becomes 4x plus the later part are 4x 12x by 3 8x by 100 4x by 100 and these part are to be taken care of so 100 is common so we can have the 100 as as it is lcm first part is 12 12x another part is 8x another part is 4a so 12 plus 8 plus 4 is going to be 24x. So this is how the equation can be solved out simply. And this whole part is equal to 848. We are just supposed to solve this equation once again. Okay. If we solve like that, we can have 100 as LCM. Okay. We can always keep the 100 as LCM. It is going to be 400x plus 24x is going to be 848. If you solve this further, this is going to be 424x by 100 is 848 so clearly 424 can cut 848 by two times which gives us the x value is 200 which gives us the x value is 200 rupees the annual installment that is to be paid each year to discharge a debt of 848 is nothing but 200 and this is available in option number a and becomes the right answer for us rupees 200